Bang, knees, knives. I'm Jared with my lovely wife, Carol. Hello. Douglas in the background. And today we are doing our video on everyone else's EDC. We did a post on this and asked everybody to send us some EDC pictures. So for once, we could check out your guys' EDC instead of our own. We are going to start doing this more often and possibly start doing themes and stuff like that. This time, it's just straight up EDC photos. And let's get to it. <coughs> I almost choked. <clears throat> All right. It's not what you think it is. I just choked. <clears throat> okay. You want to okay. do that? No. You sure? Onward. <laughs> On we go. Okay. All right. So first up, here we have... Timbo437 on Instagram. Our buddy and Tim. And we didn't do a theme this time around. We will be doing like some themes maybe uh, the next time around. But he did a theme for us, which was cool. He did his social distancing EDC. Um, I know for one, because of this massive fixed blade, he said no one would dare get within six feet of him with this on his hip, which I would agree with. So it looks like we have a giant buoy knife. It's pretty much a, like a, a stretched out buoy. We have the Cold Steel Recon and a little slip, or not slip, uh, a little Texas slip, toothpick. Yeah, Texas toothpick <laughs> slip joint. Couldn't get that out of my mouth. A fat leather wall. George, what's his name? Costanza wall. I thought his name was George. George can't stand you. Costanza. Yeah. Costanza. George Costanza. Yeah. That's from Seinfeld. A little Seinfeld joke. And then we have a flashlight, which is. What are you doing? What kind of flashlight is this? Did he say the... A flashlight. It's a flashlight. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> um, and we have the leather sheath for the big badass knife, which All looks right. like it has wooden handles. Next up. We have bag donuts underscore EDC from Instagram. And we have a lovely picture here. This is like probably like one of my favorite pictures from the photography standpoint that we received. Um, he did send us a list of what's here. Uh, the Spyderco Techno 2, that's obvious. Well, maybe not to everyone. But uh, we have a Fisher Space Pen, a multi-tool, which is the Gerber Armbar Drive. We have an Olight IT3 EOS. And the organizer, he says, is just like a random leather um, slip from Amazon. But it looks definitely real, and it looks very nice. Yeah, I like the stitching around the edges. I really like when I think of leather and um you know leather goods that you carry on your person i love the stitching like double stitching you can really tell the quality in a leather or how it's put together by the stitching i like so when I they leave that, that uh like that hide is that the hide it's it, like it's exposed. the other side of the leather the innards yeah there's the soft and then smooth side the innards of the skin the innards but yeah, this is a really good little compact EDC. I have not had one of these little leather uh, pouches yet for my EDC, but a lot of people some, seem to like them. You can carry everything in one compact mm -hmm. um, spot right in your pocket. I really like the wood floors. That's some nice wood. And this picture, man, it, I love how it's like blurry in all the right places and then clear. And and you can tell it's natural EDC. light coming in. That's always good for yep. pictures. Yep. All right, next we have Flipper J2 on Instagram. We have a very satisfying picture for the OCD folks. You got the lined background, the measurements with, lined up perfectly with all his items, which is super satisfying. I love that. You can tell the size of everything by the one inch squares. And he said that this is his high rotation EDC, so I doubt he's carrying four knives, two pens, and all this stuff all at once, but these are the items he carries the most. So he has the, the Chavez knife right here. I love the Chavez. It's an Ultramar Redencion. Very, very cool knife. And then also the Spyderco smock with a lynch clip. And I don't know the back lock spider co, but it is a spider co. And then also the Civivi Elementum. We have only messed around with, we've, we have the Elementum mm -hmm. and we've um, had or borrowed the Chavez knives. We borrowed pretty much the whole set of Chavez knives, mm -hmm. the ones that Riat built. And then we have not had a smock yet, but I really want to check one out. I love the smock. I think it was a really cool idea to do the button lock and also the um, the hollow ground blade. I love that blade shape, and I love that they did a hollow ground blade. Love that. We do have that Olight, the one down in the, yeah. the bottom left corner. That is a very bright little light. You know what's the most useful thing? And it's it has really not much to do with the light, but actually the clip on the light. And I saw on a flashlight just from a different picture as well, is that like a dual flippy clip thing and you can slide it um in your pocket but you can also slide it on your hat bill yeah, yeah. and look around mm -hmm. that is 
so useful because yeah. honestly when you're really doing stuff with lights it's very hard to like have it in your hand yeah for sure uh, depending on what you're doing but yeah. it has three modes on it and it is rechargeable we see two rings um some pocket tools so it looks like a Victorian Knox and another uh, little pocket tool and then a couple pens a lot of them. I like I think that's a titanium pen I don't I haven't gotten into the pens yet but I should because I do have a little bit of a pen fetish I tend to steal pens when they write really yeah, good you're that guy yeah I don't know if any of you guys uh, you know that guy. like a good writing pen. Yes, I am definitely that guy. And then I think that up on the top left corner, I think that's a battery uh, charge. Uh, like extra a battery pack. Yeah, I think that's what that is. And then what looks like a leather, or not leather, a looks plastic like a, wallet. Uh, yeah, a hard shell wallet. Yeah, and then two other flashlights. So he has definitely got his flashlight He's game ready. going. He is ready. He's ready with the light. All right, and then next up, we have a picture from Justin.small.1690. The year he was born. Yep, he's a ghost. Um, so to start, he, uh, you see, he's got a very classic EDC here. Glasses is a good one that I don't see that much. And you know, you have to carry glasses if you wear them. Um, one other thing I want to point out. I know what your background is. It is a foldable stool, which is actually a super handy stool. We actually have one. Yeah, like it literally. Right here. It's the, I know <laughs> that's the same one. Uh, it's just a different pattern on top. But those things are great. Like you literally could throw that in your car. It's actually really part of the EDC if, if you want it to be. He's flexing with the $100 bill. Um, I love the leather wallet with the stitching around it. Again, with the stitching. I like fat love stitches. The, yeah, I love stitching. I love double stitching, but that's really good I like stitching. I fat stitches. I like the the uh, the two-tone, like where the, the leather is one color and the stitching is another. Mm -hmm. We do have this knife. This is the Ferrum Forge Mini Archbishop, but this one's a G10. Ours is the... Carbon fiber. Yeah. And then the... Uh, the OLED. Do you know what the OLED that is, baby? I don't. I think this is the S... Uh, the 3OT something dot... Schmitty. It yes. has the button on the back, which I think is very cool. I did want this one. I almost got it. So I don't I don't remember the number. The um the other thing that I very much enjoy is the pattern of this Hank in the background, which yeah. is a mighty Hank's Hank. I'm sure a lot of you have heard of them. Oh yeah. Um I enjoy the smaller size Hanks like this. You can see how much alone you fit on it. It's still a good size, so that's great. The 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 damn watch. I couldn't get it. The damn watch. The dango watch. <laughs> I like the leather strap. Is that leather or is that like suede? I uh, it might be leather or suede, but what I was going to say is leather. that leather suede um, banded watches are very, very comfortable, especially for EDC. Like mm -hmm. just something that you carry every day because metal watches can start getting, I'm not going to say annoying, but you feel them. That's yeah. it. You feel them. With the leather ones, you forget they're even on your wrist. Love it. Okay, let's get to the next one. All right, next up we have Bulldog underscore EDC from Instagram. Now we pulled a couple pictures. He sent us a couple options. This is an awesome um, picture. I love this really picture. Really great quality picture, which is always nice to see when you're looking through these. It's really clear. Because yeah, he's using outdoor lighting, that's why. Yeah, natural light is always great. Always so for the those of you guys who are trying to step up your, your Instagram or your knife tography games. Um, outdoor lighting. Natural lighting is the way to go. It automatically sure. takes anodizing, metals, anything, and it looks 20 million times Not better. in the sun either. You can do it in the shade. The shade is the best. It's actually better to take pictures on a cloudy day than it is to do it on a bright, sunny day. For sure. Um, although there's times where the sun works as well, especially through a window, um, as we saw in that hand Yeah, but earlier. actually outside, though. When yeah. You're actually outside. Okay, so this one, I don't know what material that Hank is. That's a Hank by Hank, right? It looks right? like some kind of like twill or tweed or something. I, I was saying as we were looking at these before uh, we filmed a little bit, um, it looks like that same material. You know those like stoner sweatshirts everyone yeah. used to wear? Mm. That's what it looks like yeah. to me, and I like it. I and it's a, uh, it's a Hank by Hank. And then it looks like a pair of three with a lynch clip. I love the transition in the colors on the titanium clip. Yep. It does the bronze to the purple, which matches the, the, the rook. The <laughs> We have, yeah, which matches the whole picture, yeah, for sure. The rook, um, uh, the, 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 I guess you call a multi-tool razor cutter. box cutter. Those things are really cool. We did get one sent to us. I do like that, and it saves you the edge on your knife. He's got a titanium bead with it, which looks really cool. And Hank's by Hank. I love the little mustache logo. Bad assery. <laughs> All right, so this is another one from the same entry here, and we have the uh, the a, a different Hank. This is a mighty Hank's Hank, and you see it's got the 
superheroes all over it. Yeah. And then it looks like we have a corresponding rook, R-U-K, whatever, however you say that. Yep. Um, and that one's really cool. It looks like like a uh, Hulk color, superhero yeah. colors. I love it's really it. Really cool. The blue bead, a nice pop of color. And then the the that um that AirPod case. Yeah, AirPod case. I actually have those. That's a little charging port, and it also holds them, so you don't mess them up or lose them. And it looks like the Delica with a Lynch clip with a San Mai blade. Very very cool. I think that's a real San Mai blade. Not a hundred percent. What is a San Mai blade? San Mai blade is where they take two different steels, so the edge of the blade is a different steel than the rest of the blade, which gives you that line and that transition. Very very cool. I don't know what steel they're using for that one, but. All right, next up. All right, we have unique underscore knife underscore designs from Instagram. And we have a very nice picture here with a prototype knife. And let me read where that's from so you guys can know. He says this knife is by Coach Tools. That's with a K, Coach Tools. His first prototype was sold in 2017. And then we also have this Ultra Fire, Fire Flashlight, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Mm -mm -mm. This really awesome Hank with the skulls peeking through. I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look through the lines in the Hank, you can actually see uh, where some of the stuff is laying, little skulls coming yeah. through. It's a really cool pattern. I didn't even notice that at first. She actually pointed it out to me. I think that's really, really cool. Oh, and the Tiki bracelet. That was the, another really interesting thing. I wonder yeah. if those are brass beads. It looks yeah, like they yeah, could be. Yeah, definitely brass. It looks like brass. Um, I don't know what kind of key holder uh, thing that is, but that thing looks pretty cool. It's like it just slaps right in your pocket or around your belt buckle. Looks like it might have a belt. I'm not loop. sure. But again, another leather banded watch. Badass. You might say what. I like all watches. I do like watches. It's I only a, have it, a few, but go ahead. That's a Geneva watch. Just Geneva so you know. watch with a leather band. But I do know, though, that I do think the leather bands are way more comfortable. Mm -hmm. um, the knife. The holes in it goes really good with that little pocket tool. I wonder tool. if they're functional at all. What they is that? A bear? It's a panda. Panda. -tool? Okay. Takes. You can tell it takes bits, so that you can use it as a driver. I guess you'd say. Yeah, I've so seen a lot of bits. those multi tools with the holes trying to yeah, look like Yeah, we have we have a couple too. Things, so they're very but cool. Yeah, very. And nice. I have used them actually. They do come in hand handy if you do keep bits. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then some of them, if you look in the belly of it, you can actually use it. looks the like it goes sizes. up to a quarter-inch, um, mm -hmm. you know, for like a quarter-inch nut, something like that. All right, next up. All right, we have Arlos.Ethos, and we do have a list of the items here. All um, right. We have, it looks like a key clip with a carabiner, an actual real carabiner, too, not like the uh, fake ones that you can actually rock climb with. This looks like a legit one which is really cool. Um, we also have the um, JG Scout Micarta and Wave Titanium. That's very, very cool. That is a badass thing. We're going to talk about that in just one second. I've Overall never heard stuff. of this light, the Okluma DC Zero Light. And then we have a Das Ophin Mir Cam Wallet, an iPhone 7, and a Casey Lynch Pry Bar 2.0. Um, and then he said he has it currently hand sanded because he likes to mess with modding the titanium with the colors and stuff like that. We do too. So we I believe that's it. the one here on the keys that he's referring yes, to. Yes, it is. Um, but yeah, this this wallet, uh, I'm not sure what brand that is, but I noticed Tim that in a few people's pictures. I don't know if that's Timber and the Hitch. I think no, that's what it's called. Is it, it that says one? OM. Oh, okay. I don't know. Did, he didn't say about the wallet, right? Uh, I don't know. Does it say anything? Why do you keep doing that? Because this is an annoying piece of technology. That's oh, okay. why. I got gotcha. you. So that makes that sense. Up, there we go. Okay, so the J G Scout is uh, with McCart and Titanium. These knives, everybody has been screaming about them. It looks like a badass knife, but I know it's a badass knife because the people that I know knives or that i definitely would take their opinions to heart they love it they say it's awesome and it just looks like it has amazing ergos it looks like you can easily get to the lock bar to unlock it what a beautiful blade awesome and people say that the, the thumb stud action is very very good i don't know what it kind of, does he say what, what kind of for? I was thinking what kind of wallet that Ophine was. Ophine Mirror. Ophine Mirror. Yeah. Okay, so the Ophine Mirror wallet that looks like a really cool wallet. Don't know if I'm saying that right. 
Yeah, probably just not. To be clear. Probably not. <laughs> and then a wreck of stuff on and the And the teeth. sticker. We totally just ignored this like hippie bus sticker. Is that what that is? Yeah, it's best. Like and a... also, I love the wood background. I yeah. love wood. Wood is with the grains and the crane structure. It's like a stump. All right, next up is our homie Kyle. Kyle underscore I underscore Lanfear on Instagram. We have a couple pictures. He's also got a YouTube channel, so check him out on YouTube. Kitty! Kitty cat. We got a kitty cat. We got another jealous kitty cat, so... Another? Well, we're going to run into another. Uh, <laughs> so you're basically uh, spending too much time with your EDC Honestly, there, Kyle? No. Hold on, because the yeah, cat thing, it makes sense, right? Everyday carry, everyday cat. It's all EDC. Everyday carry kitty? Everyday cat. EDC. Okay. All right. Well, it looks like sense. you are spending a little too much time with your EDC, and your kitty is jealous. <laughs> okay, this is a heretic ADV collaboration OTS auto butcher. So this is a Andre de Villar knife with it has copper handles with a carbon fiber inlay or overlay, I guess that'd be an overlay, with a copper flashlight. I don't know what type of flashlight that is, but it's super badass. Copper just looks so good. Yeah. And um, what looks like a copper pen, too. Mm. Um, I'm not sure, but we are going to talk about the tattoo. Um, yes, we have a tattoo here. We've been shooting a lot of zombies. <laughs> in real life, In just real to be life, clear. zombies all around. <laughs> so we, uh, we definitely think it looks similar to something like that. I think it kind of looks like a bat goblin or something. I'm not sure what kind of tattoo it is. I can't look at it without seeing this cat just staring at me but angrily. It kind of made me think of doing a theme on this where people take their knives and next to the tattoos. I think that'd be an awesome theme. And if you don't have a tattoo, maybe you can just do it with your Hank. All right. All right. The other picture we have from the same entry is this really cool red carbon fiber bow song. We have a, it looks like a brass nook with also maybe a brass bead on this beautiful painted, looks like a table or a bench. Really cool. Also, the pen has, it looks like a Timascus tip and a Timascus clip and uh, don't, a cap. I guess you'd say the back cap. Um, I, this, these pens look really cool. It looks like you it's almost yeah. It looks like one of those ones you can fling out a. No, it looks like you can take the clip and yeah. pull down and slide it over, and that's how you get the actual tip of the pen yeah. out. And the knife looks like it has a titanium handles. Beautiful finish on it. Well, yeah, with a really cool anno Gosh. on it. I did see this in a video, and if you guys want to see this in a video, check Kyle out. He does make some cool YouTube videos, and he knows a lot about custom knives. Okay, we can link him below. All right, next up. We have Jack G Hobbies, and we have this picture here. Now, he said these portal wipes you see at the bottom were kind of a tongue-in-cheek thing that he threw in here because of the quarantine and everything going yeah. on, but it's honestly not a bad thing to have in no, your EDC. you should have it. And then another thing I want to point out, besides this really nice natural wood background, is the Hank actually has um, like little uh, things on it that show you different types of knots to tie and how yeah. to tie them. And I think that's so smart to have a Hank with information on it. It's like if you're going to yeah, have it taking sure. up space, if you're like a survivalist and you want everything on your body, every little piece of weight on your body to have as many uses as possible, that's another yeah. use you can get out of your Hank. Knowledge. Yeah. And also, I have to say that everybody should know how to tie at least one good knot. And I don't mean your regular shoelace knot. I mean an like actual the bunny knot. ear loops? To be able to tie something down, you can use them for traps. You can use them to tie gear down. You can use them for so many different things. I know in construction, I've learned a few different knots, and they've served me phenomenally. Like, they've served me. Yeah. They've served me well my whole life in so many different types of conditions and so many different scenarios. Also, the watch, I do not know what watch that is, but it looks really cool. Well, you might have said, I can check. Let's see. Uh, I don't think so. No, okay. but he did say this is like his shelter in place. What, which, which CRKT is this again? This is the CRKT exclusive by Carta Edition. It's the CEO. That's the name of the knife. The I Blade think this HQ. was a Blade HQ yeah. exclusive that sold out unbelievably fast yeah, it's in my cool memory. Knife. Um, we have a money clip and then the bug out that I have right here. It looks like his is G-Tom. Yeah. not sure if that's black titanium because I can't really tell. But I think 
it's the black G10 like this one right here, but his has an acid etched and stone washed blade. Looks good. And also with the blue titanium hardware, which is super badass. I want this, the blue hardware for mine. I think yeah. that would look really cool with the back spacers and Ours. everything. Ours. <laughs> yes. yes. All right, next up. We have Knifed Up Dan. Knifed Up Dan. Knifed Up Dan. All right. We will get right into this. We have a shark handkerchief. We have a Max Edition wallet. We have a Leatherman Squirt PS4. I've seen that in a couple pictures. Custom Crooked River. This is the mini Crooked River and the Chris Reeves Nandi with the bog oak wood inlay. The Nandi is such a nice lightweight EDC knife. That's just it's just perfect for EDC and certainly well built i've never messed with them but i've watched lots of videos on them and i know it's a well-built knife the crooked river enough said crooked river everybody knows crooked river is a, a a good hard use knife they make a mini version which is a great edc knife i what did he say what flashlight that was yeah it's, a, was it's it? a fenix i think i22 Phoenix. id22 okay and then this other thing you see with the colors on it here is actually a zippo lighter which is really cool. It says fire, wind, water, earth on it, and the fire is right where the fire comes out. I yeah. think that's very cool. And then we got some Canada representation. I'm guessing he's from Canada. Very, very Probably. cool. <laughs> very cool. Next stop. All right, we have Jason Guns here. Now, just a disclaimer, Jason Guns did send us some really cool videos of actual firearms, but we're not going to be able to play those just because we're in the middle of trying to get monetized and YouTube yes. is kind of unfriendly to the no, yeah. to the firearm crew. So, But we do we, have a picture. And we are definitely firearm advocates. This looks like a Glock 22. Anyways, this is, we have, I don't, I forget the name of the knife. The one on top? Yeah. VDK? Yeah, VDK uh, something. Looks like it has a frag pattern handle. And I believe that's a stun gun right above that knife, yeah, too. Yeah, yep, 10,000 uh, volts, it looks like. And then we have the Koenig Arius, which I am envious over. I really want to check one out. I have not touched one. They look amazing. Everybody seems to love them. It seems like a knife that's like just, just a, a badass knife. Ba that's all I'm gonna say. Badass knife. Okay. We so, also have this wallet here that looks like it has some sort of metal overlay on it. One of those like hard shell sort of wallets. The, with the American flag. Yep, with the American flag on it, which is very cool. And then you see we also have some quarantine items. Yep. Uh, Clorox wipes and some hand sanitizers. What so, do we have in the background? Let's check out the background. It's a mirror. He's uh, got this on a table with like an interesting. Oh, you mean the holster? Yeah. Well, yeah. We got holster. We got some sanitizer. And what is this little thing back here? What is that? Another America flag? Let me just say this. You guys take some pictures. Zippo. We're going to be doing this in the future. You guys take pictures of stuff in the background. You better believe we're going to be looking at what's in the background. Oh, kitties. <laughs> we are going to be going through them photos. All right, next, next up. Next up, we have J.A. Schaefer 15 from Jay Instagram. Schaefer. Instagrammer. <laughs> Instagram. Uh, she sent us this picture of the Gavco Thresher. This is the um, version that was Mass made. Drop. By Drop, Drop formerly yeah. known as Mash Drop. Um, and beautiful color. This is like one of my favorite colors, that like weird blue green color. This the, was made by Wii. Yeah. So. Um, that's what I was trying to say. All and right, then you were all like Mash Drop. Yeah, you, hey, you go ahead. You go ahead. <laughs> anyway, um, she actually sent us this a long time ago. We had requested to do yes. this video, but we got like two pictures yeah we couldn't do a whole video on <laughs> so just two pictures so we just so. saved it and saved it and we did not forget about you nope so here you are here's your representation and then you also oh, sent us what nothing no go ahead this. also i was gonna say that this knife when you get the custom version it comes with a hole and a lot of people are customizing theirs they're taking out the thumb stud and putting the hole in i think that's a really cool idea and i think that's badass also also if you look at also, it it kind of looks like a shark and it looks like the thumb stud's are eyes doesn't it I think that's the point of it. Anyways, next up. I do. I think that's we the point. We have AZT, some combination of numbers after it. What I, ZT I, is I this? fucking forget. I forget. I forget <laughs> which ZT this is. But I do know we did handle it, though. We have played with this one one time at a knife shop. And I did like it a lot. And I do think that Zero Tolerance is not getting the credit they deserve. I think Zero Tolerance makes amazing knives. Hard use and easy to carry EDC knives 
and um, I think you guys just need to get off their backs. Well, it's make them bigger, make them smaller, make them bigger, make them smaller. Yeah. It's the hey, you know what? They have a lot going on. Why don't you make EDC size knives? You're making too small a knife. Yeah, it's just now you made a knife with a hole in it. Uh, I was gonna try to find the name for you guys really quick, but it is not appearing fast enough for me at all. Well, definitely. There it is. This one? Yeah. 0609. It's the ZT0609 with the blue titanium. It's the 69. And looks like a DLC coating on the blade. Okay. Which is 20 CV, by the way. Next up, we I have. I know that. Andre WRT underscore 23. Our homie Andrew. Andre. Andrew. Andre. Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Andre. Andre. Sorry, that was a joke. Bro. Yeah, inside joke, guys. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Okay. Megan. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> Andre. Okay, anyway. Andrew RT underscore 23. He says this is about all he carries. So we have a picture. I like the aesthetic of this picture. He used, oh, uh, what is that called? Of course, I can't um, remember the word for it now. What are you I used about? to always say, see, where you darken the corners of the picture. I, yeah. I can't remember either. Shadow boxing. I don't know. No, no. But so it looks nice. It starts this with a V. This is the Custom Knife Factory 520. This is a really cool knife. I've watched many reviews on it. It is a front flipper. They make them in a couple different sizes. Vignette. Vignette? Yeah, I just remembered it. It's okay. Vignette. That's what that thing is. This knife also comes in different materials. This one looks like it's titanium with the shredded carbon fiber and titanium clip. These things are extremely well made and they're also very expensive. They also come in ones with, um, with Zircotai, I think it's Zircotai, or Zirconium, sorry, Zirconium bolsters. And they come in a bunch of different configurations, but yeah, very badass knife. I do want to check one of these out one day. Also, we have a leather wallet. What is this background? Oh, no, this is a car. It looks like a carbon fiber leather wallet. It almost wallet. looks like they make those, that material that kind of looks like carbon fiber, but it's like not. It's like laced it together. Like it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he says, unless that's what this front pocket minimalist is. Is yeah. that what that yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. RFID. It's a travel Lambo. So, yeah. And then the watch is the a. Lambo of wallets. <laughs> the watch is a Bernhardt watch company watch and then we have this super rare pilot yeah g205 yeah that's don't a, get it that's twisted. a pen that is you see not often yeah. uh it looks like we've got this picture taken on top of what i would assume is your kitchen counter and a sam's Hubble, uh card uh, yeah yeah you're uh you're also frugal you buy in bulk good for you <laughs> all, right. all right we have next up uh okay what do we have in the dan, background we're gonna call this dan or dane Dan, no, we'll go Dan E. Gavrilowski on Instagram. And Dan Gavrilowski. we got a kitty! Kitty! <laughs> Look at him, another jealous kitty. We have another guy who spends entirely way too much time looking at his EDC making his cat very jealous. Yeah, it's got the black, um, angry cat Yeah, eyes. this one looks like he's going to get you. Yeah, he's about to pounce for sure. For sure. Uh, we have this table with this overlay um what did they used to do those on tables it's like I that forget. fake stuff they lay over i can't remember what it's called it's like pencil it works well um <laughs> actually it's a background um yeah especially if i couldn't tell it was a table then it would be really really cool and we have the pair of three lightweight and we've got that olight with the standard olight lanyard which i really like those olight lanyards because it comes with a little adjuster where you can make the yeah. loop smaller big which is really cool and a, I don't know what a, kind of a watch wrist is. watch it, yes a wrist watch it's a very unique brand okay <laughs> next up we have bt underscore knives 25 on instagram also known as brandon t on youtube um we'll go ahead and link his page below as well um if you do have a youtube channel and we didn't realize that we apologize i just i'm linking we're trying to I get know. through this video as quick <laughs> as possible because we know we're trying to we're trying to spend time on each one so so we have a lovely aesthetic here we have it looks like it started raining while you took this picture yes, yes so uh but it works which well. i like that i think that's pretty cool <laughs> yeah it's authentic i like the concrete background that's always a good background for edc pictures we also have another leather banded watch which i love and i love the stitching around right by where the um the head 
I guess, of the watch. Yeah, the, the head of the watch. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the stitching is very cool. I love the distressed leather look. Man, that's badass. And then it also matches the wallet. And it's I another love one that. of those wallets of the name I said before that I'm not going to be able to re yeah, remember. Yeah, I thought that was o Hitching M. Timber. I no, don't know. I know. O Oshinichi or something like okay, that. Okay, with a copper pen. Um, uh, I don't know what kind of pen that is. And also... You said a, um as if you were going to figure it out, too. Yeah. No. Uh, what, what kind what, of knife? Oh, that is a hinder. I believe that's the skinny version. Or the with the triway slim. with the triway pivot system, you can tell it's a newer one with the triway because of the little triway symbol on the, the finger guard or the flipper tab. Also, we have a Leatherman and a what that kind of it looks like a pry bar no what kind of oh. it's a certain type it's a did um, he tell us no i don't think he should have to we should know the name of that <laughs> it's we just seen one in the prior one. Oh. um mm. i said i almost mm. got one you could write it in the screen if you remember because no. i don't remember it's a dang it this is to make me brand. mad dang it is not a brand with a badass flashlight. All right, next stop. <laughs> All right. I love this name. It's Everyday I Carry SHT. Every on carry, Instagram. every day I carry shit. Every day I carry shit. You going to put in that bleep noise? Yes, I will. Okay. All right. We have another firearm in the picture. Lovely, lovely. And then we have some other good stuff here. Don't we have this knife? Is that the Strider Pro Tech? PT Auto. Yes, we do. This is a very, <gasps> very cool EDC knife. It is an auto, and Pro Tech makes some banger autos that bang out. This thing's got a lot of power. <laughs> and then we have the McB in the photo. I love the McB, and this is a badass McB. It I looks like he's got that is. That's Mocha Tai. Is that? Yes, it is. And then we have a really interesting skull ring, which looks it's as if... It's a gorilla if, skull. It looks as if I were to punch Jared in the cheek with it, that I would leave the imprint of that face in his cheek. I think it would go the... Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that's yeah, very no, cool. That's it's a very... Here. Yeah, very cool. All right, we got a cool... Is that a bottle cap? What am I... Oh, no, I think that's... Isn't that chapstick? Isn't that the same brand as the wallet? Maybe. I don't think so, but maybe. It looks like it. Okay, and then... We're very uninformed people. And I'm also thinking this person is in the CIA based off this Hank because it looks like there is some either alien the Matrix. code or... Yeah, the Matrix. Exactly. And then what is, what is this? Is this a, a stun gun? What is this? In it's a flashlight. Force? That's a flashlight? Yeah. Did he, it's got a clip on it. All right, cool. It's a flashlight. And I can't tell what brand Hank that is. G E D C something? Yep. I like the sights you got on that to fire them. I used to have one on my uh let's not talk about firearms. All right, go ahead. All right. I, we don't want to get this knocked off. All right, we have spirited blades up next. Um now this first picture actually was not an entry, I don't think. It was just something he sent to you, but you wanted to show it. Yes, I did. I did want to show this. This is a very, very cool anzo custom haddock and i think this thing is just so beautiful it it just looks like it's amazingly well made and then if you look at the blade you can tell that's hand finished because look mm -hmm. at the way the direction the um yeah like the what's it called grind the, lines not yeah but the satin finish the the direction the satin finish is going it's going towards the um the heel of the blade to the tip and you can tell that's hand done i think that's really cool very very nice anzo looks like titanium hardware and a i don't know what kind of uh pry bar that is i don't think he told you very very cool next up this is his actual picture i think there's two uh that we have from him another one of that brand of Le the pry bar that you don't Lynch. know no no, the pry bar. Yeah, oh, oh. It's um, that same brand with the feather. Yeah, I know. Let's not talk so, about it. Okay. You know what? Let's talk about it. Go all the way back to the beginning. Why? Because we're going to say the brand. Back to the beginning? Yeah, back to the beginning. Right here. Nope, go forward. Go forward. Keep going. Why would you stop? Just look for the thing. Look for it. Look for it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Somebody had one. Right there. I just want to go back. Casey Lynch. Oh, you, with Lynch. Well, I don't know. I said it, didn't I? I don't didn't know. I say it? Man, another person has Okay, it. so it's a Casey Lynch pry bar and then a Tommy Mayo knife. Awesome. And then I love the frag patterned pen um, with the, with, it looks like a titanium frag patterned pen. That's badass. What kind of flashlight is that? 
Got like um, the bomber. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, I know that pattern well. I don't know the actual brand of this particular light. But it's like an Air Force uh, bomber uh, pattern. Yeah. This, um, uh, on the flashlight. Very cool. I like the um, the skeleton kind of design around the center of the flashlight. Yeah. And I also cool. like the perspective of this picture. It's clearly taken on a deck rail. In oh the yeah, um, I see that now. That's nice. It's a nice. Very very cool. Yeah, way to do it. Um, now this is also from the same guy. This is like one of my favorites for like picture wise. I love whatever table thing like dump tray this is. This like hammered copper thing, and then your leather watch kind of love it matches. You have the uh, Strider handle pattern matching frag the pattern. Pen, or, frag pattern. Sorry, um, and all these things come in. With another play so well together, I love it. With another uh, I don't know what that pry black bar box is though. With the the what's it called Lynch or the Casey, Casey Lynch, Lynch pry bar. I love the leather banded watch. Very very cool. I love the frag pattern combination. That is just so badass. This is also spirited whiskey. I'm sure you guys see him around on YouTube through all the knife channels. Really badass dude, and he lives in our area. Next up, we have Eric underscore underscore H, and we That's two have underscores. Two underscores. Okay, this we have just a knife pick, which this is, is a, a beautiful picture, by the way. Yes, this is a Tucson. It is a one eighty seven fang tooth. TS one eighty seven fang tooth. I think this is a um. I don't, okay, it's S ninety V with swirl carbon fiber and titanium handle but i think this is a slip joint yeah this is a yeah. slippy um and he did Very give us cool. just a little insight on it he says he uses a lot for cutting fruits and veggies um and he also said he likes it because it's not super scary to hand to people that don't own knives awesome um i he i would have some people that might fear the blade shape a little but the slip joint um is i think when you double hand open a knife people automatically are not as worried about it compared to like when you take anything else and fling it out. I think that that quick fling is what oh, makes people will, do whatever they do. So I will say the back, you <clears throat> see that little groove on the back of the yeah. blade? I think that is for pinching and pulling out like oh. that. I'm not positive, but that's what it looks like. And then the front part is like a, a nail, nail neck. nick for you to go like this with. Um, this picture though is probably one of the most aesthetically pleasing I've seen out of the bunch the way First of all, you kept your horizon line in the background perfect with the houses and the water and everything and the green grass, blue sky, water. Great picture. Yeah, Natural great picture. light's always awesome. All next right. Up. Next up, we have edc.td on Instagram. Um, we have here this a beautiful picture. I love this picture. Awesome close up. We got the Victorinox in the background. And then we have the, some copper, a copper flashlight and pen combination. I love that combination. It looks like that is the TRM Nerd. Is that what that is back I, there? Is that the little one? It's hard to tell. That I don't think that's the Nerd. I think that's like the the, the, new, the Neutron or the Atom. I'm not positive though, but I, I, it's definitely a TRM. Yeah, for sure. You can see the three rivers. Um, and then this. No, it's definitely not the Nerd because the Nerd doesn't have the thumb side. It only has oh, the thing. Oh, right, right, so right. So this is a Neutron or an Atom. For Very sure. Very cool with the leather. Look at the stitching. There's the stitching. Yep. Love um, the wall. aesthetic of this picture is great. I love any macro photography where you're close in like yeah. this. That's awesome. Um, and you can do amazing things with the textures and mm -hmm. patterns of EDC yeah. stuff for pictures. So again, if you want to step up your like Instagram EDC picture taking, this is a great now, technique. Now I will say you can tell this is newer copper because it's still mm -hmm. shiny yeah. and it hasn't patinaed yet. Unless if he did polish it. And also you can see the distrust in the wallet. Next, all right. Next up is our buddy Jeff. That is good now, Jeff on Instagram. And Arrowhead something Some number. on YouTube. <laughs> Very right. cool guy. And this is a Shiro Guroff, uh, what was the name of it? I hate, no. Nation, wasn't it? No, uh, it maybe. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. Haitian one, okay, it has M390 with red carbon fiber and titanium. Very badass knife. Everybody knows about these knives. Everybody knows they're awesome. They're amazing knives. And everybody just screams about them. I wouldn't know. I haven't messed with one. Next up, we have... Excuse me. We have a... Uh, custom Marfion Custom Yeah, Marfion... Mar, Mar, custom Marfion Warhound. Warhound. <laughs> 
Warhound with the carbon fiber and blue titanium hardware. And actual titanium on one titanium side. Titanium lock side. Man, this thing looks mean. I love that blade shape. I love the hollow ground blade. This thing just looks like it wants to cut the something. The only thing I'm not sure about is that really aggressive jimping on the top. It's like not aggressive, like little aggressive, but like yeah, big very wide aggressive. apart. It looks like a saw blade. Yeah, I wonder how that would feel. But Very, very cool. I do love this knife, the way it looks, I mean, and I'm, I'm sure it's amazing. We've held one Marfion custom, and I can say that was amazing. So I can yeah. only imagine what this That was like, like a SOCOM. Yeah. Okay. Okay, next up. This is for my cousin. This is kind of a joke, but you know what? I told her I'm going to put it in. So This looks this, like she stole it from Out, Outback Steakhouse. This looks exactly like the knife. This looks like there. the shittiest <laughs> kitchen knife in her kitchen, and I don't know what's up with the half serrated at the tip knife. I guess it's probably a bread knife, but I can say one thing, it though. It is that the bread knife from Outback Steakhouse. I, That's what it is. I can say that you definitely need your knives sharpened in your kitchen, and if you do, send them on by. I will get them sharpened up for you because it doesn't look like you're cutting much in the kitchen. All right. These next couple of people send us something through email, so I will not be saying their names because I'm not going to put someone's email out there, and we didn't get a chance to really ask if they wanted their names out there, so I'm not going to do that. Next up. Is. It seems logical. I believe that's his Instagram name. He sent this to us through email, so I'm not positive, but I believe it is. All right. Now, we have, he sent us two pictures. He said, pick which one we like better. The only thing different between the two is the knife, so we went with the one with the Spyderco Capara in it. Absolutely beautiful knife. We have retractable headphones, which is very cool. I carry headphones every single day. The Kapara is a knife we have not checked out yet, but yeah. really, really want to. We think it just looks like an amazing EDC knife. Love the leather wall. He says put it through the wash a few times so the logo got washed off. Mm -hmm. Which hey, that's what that's what leather he is said for. It used is to, to be a, uh, a Yankees embossment. And we can tell it. he is going to the gym, which is very awesome. LA Fitness. I like to go to the gym myself. It's um, good to stay healthy. He said that he likes to keep his uh, key. You've seen really heavy keychains in a lot of these because there's lots of stuff on it. He said he likes to keep his relatively light um, because he, I'm assuming, keeps them in his pocket while he works yeah. out. And um, you see he's got it reduced to the bare minimum there. Yeah. Really like your keychain, by the way. Very nice. And, um, yeah. So, this, did you just pause it? No. Oh. I, uh. Is it crooked? I felt like it was. Should we? No, just keep going. Okay, so it's a very, very nice picture all around. I always appreciate these nice, crisp, clear pictures, you know? And I also like uh, the, just the classic bandana. I mean, you don't even need to buy a special Hank. Bandanas work great. Yeah, I, I, I carry bandanas on me. I always have them for whether I need them for my head or for other stuff, so. And I really appreciate this type of EDC because um, I think nice and light. this is something that really, like most people carry, the only differentiator might be the knife um, for some people, but yeah. it shows that like really everybody has an EDC. Everybody. 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 No everybody. matter who you are. But yeah, really, really awesome Next EDC. Up. Um, okay. This is the last but not least. This is from, we're not going to say who because this was from an email, but this is the SOG Terminus, which we also have right here. Very, very well-made knife. I do not like Gerber, so I'm going to talk shit about Gerber right now. It's a Gerber index. There's a Gerber index. Is that what it is? To be fair, we've never tried it, so we don't know. Yeah, it could be an awesome Gerber. It looks like it's definitely been well-loved, which is cool. And you know what? I don't care what knife you carry as long as you carry a knife. It's cool in my book. But the Sog Terminus, amazing knife. So Sog killed it with this knife. It's a Sog. Sog. And you can tell it's a song because of the saw clip. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you for joining us. We hope you guys liked us. Next, we are going to be doing themes, which we're going to get a little more entertaining with the themes. This was kind of a practice run. So we hope you guys liked it and hope more of you guys join the next time. Bye. Bye.